Hi guys, Spink here. Um, this is episode 21 of Let's Learn Aegean Civil War 2, and we're resuming right where we left off, literally minutes before. We kind of ran out of time in the last episode before we finished our movement, and I wanted to uh, make sure that we had plenty of time to look at this particular scenario here. Um, the flotilla brigade has arrived, um, so we're going to split these units up, take Hunter off of Divisional Command, enable Divisional Command for Buford, and combine all these units together. Oh, not quite enough. we got too many. And we don't have any artillery. Well, I guess we got a couple. We've got three batteries. We got enough artillery. So this is a this is a nice strong force. 596. Yeah, that's not too shabby. We have a small um, command penalty due to French Brigade here. I think we'll just move those back to uh, move those back to Washington. What's it going to take? Ten days. We'll just let him walk. Okay. So now we're sitting. Um, as far as our um, command penalty goes, we don't have one. We have uh, Buford here. N.B. Buford. Who is N.B. Buford? Do we know anything about N.B. Buford? Not at all. Okay, so he, this is a very strong division. I, I don't know if I've seen a division as strong as this in, as far as the other ones we've built. This one's close, but very strong division. He has a strong morale. This element is either composed of highly motivated battle-hardened individuals or is a leader capable of inspiring his men. Plus five maximum cohesion bonus. Well, that's that's nice. So our, since our, our, all of the units within this uh, within this unit are now have a higher cohesion they would than they would otherwise. And then he has that amphibious um, ability there. Okay, let's put Hunter on an offensive. What's our weight? Let's look at our weight. Our weight is 32. The Atlantic Fleet can have a capacity of 60, so we certainly can carry these. Um, where do we want to go with this? I think we either want to take Beaufort here, which gets us pretty close to taking Savannah. Or we want to take Georgetown, Georgetown up here. I think we want to take Beaufort. We have one militia unit here. We've got our um, our scouting squadron here, which is gonna, which is what I'm. I moved them down here to kind of get a little idea for what's going on here. What if we brought these guys into Beaufort? It is a marsh. The weather is clear. Um, the weather in general appears to be rain along here. Which I suppose could be worse. Freezing rain, harsh weather. So we're going to go through some harsh weather on our way down. As far as the uh, the the that goes. What do we decide? We're going to go into Beaufort, right? So we're going to send this unit to Beaufort, South Carolina. So let's come back up here. And. Hunter's force, we're just going to grab this unit and stick him right here on Atlantic Fleet. So now we have these units in the Atlantic Fleet with our supply unit. So if you look, if we hover over here now, we'll see our transport capacity. We're using 32 out of 60 of the transport capacity. All right, so let's take this fleet and move him to Beaufort. Oh, we can't go to Beaufort because we don't own it. Can we go here and then to Beaufort? Cannot be entered is not allowed. What if we hit now the distant unload? Select the region here. Distant unload. Our forces will disembark. Okay. So we moved the, uh, the fleet itself to um, the adjacent um, sea area here and then use the distant unload command 
that we're going to unload our forces here in Beaufort. Uh, let's stick fleet bombardment on there as well. It doesn't hurt. It's going to take 18 days just for the naval force to get here. I assume it will take some number of days additionally to unload these forces, so we will not see the result of this until um, until we execute the late December turn, I'm thinking. Okay, so that I think is going to be pretty good. I've I've actually not done this before in in my in my test games. I've never actually made it all the way to to doing one of these amphibious invasions. So this will be new for me too. McDowell, what are you doing? Nothing. Okay, so he's just hanging here. He's our he's our force magnet where we're gonna bring in our troops. We did move Stone's Brigade back here so that he can p potentially get this uh, this other unit put in here. Our cavalry looks like it has recovered as much as it's going to recover. These are conscript cavalry, so as such, their cohesion, their maximum cohesion, is not great. Um, what do we got here? What do we see? Um, the Army of the Potomac is sitting here, and Jackson is just kind of hanging there. What should we do with these cavalry units? You know, I think um, since uh, McClellan has plenty of capacity um, command-wise, I'm going to move these units now back into the Army of the Potomac and hope that um, McClellan's um, command ability or uh, training ability is going to build these guys up from just conscripts. That's what I'm going to do with those. Because it's still winter time, we're not going to we're not going to do anything during the winter. I think we'll just sit here with Fremont's force. McClellan's force again, we're just going to sit here. We have we have good command of this. Now I might want to, now that I do have the control that we've moved up to the uh, moved up to the Rappahannock here, I think we want to move Stone up into Clark, Virginia and cut off the uh, cut off this opening to the Shenandoah Valley. I mean they couldn't get over these mountains but it, it's not not the funnest way to do it so I wonder if if that will be of some value. So let's do that. Let's take this force. Even though we're at four entrenchment, we're going to give up those four entrenchment. And we're going to move to to here. And I'm going to leave them on a defensive posture. Okay, next. We're still not great on our cohesion on some of these guys. So we're just going to leave these guys, let them sit tight. Maybe we'll rebuild this railroad that we just destroyed. We'll rebuild that so that we'll be able to, to get uh, plenty of supplies in here, although I don't think that's going to be a problem. we got lots of supplies here. That's due to, due to the nature of being a level 4 depot. Asbeth. Um, going to sit tight here just due to the weather. Um, I would like to take this art, this cavalry unit. Let's take this cavalry unit out of his force, and that uh, drops his penalty down to five percent. But I would like to, I'd like to use this cavalry force to scout out what's going on in these two forces, but especially this one. But I don't want to get away from my my cover during the winter. We do have two brigades of presumably cavalry here. Also here, two Indian units. That's where Stan Wadey ended up. I gotta think they don't have the supply to support what they're doing here. Although, if we keep an eye on this green bar here, as long as that green bar is full, that means that they do have the supply to do what they're doing here. Kentucky Supply. This is the unit that we are... Um, that we're uh, building the the depot here, the Missouri Cavalry Brigade. This is the one we put in here 
with the thought that with the thought that this unit may decide to come north and he hasn't but we'll just sit tight here um, in cover because of the winter. Same with Hurlbut's force. Same with Grant's force. Now this force here we decided to uh, to set up and take Carlton out of the picture since he's not he's not performing like I need him to. So we're gonna let uh, let him go south with the uh, to the supply wagon here and and let this cavalry and artillery take this guy out. Pack trains sitting here. We've uh, we've built our depot. They're just gonna sit here, wait for our force here, and then once once that's arrived, we're gonna continue to move south and we're gonna put a depot where needed. And I think we may end up building more supply wagons in here just so that we can shuttle, end up shuttling our um, our supply where it needs to go. Carson, just going to hang. Ambrose um, Burnside here. We are going to try to get him to be the assault force against Harper's Ferry. We'll try that. Oh, let's let's leave let's leave uh, Banks on there as well on the off. If uh, if if uh, Burnside fails to assault, maybe Banks will. So maybe one of these guys will do an assault and will and will be able to, to capture Harper's Ferry. Milroy is going to be in just very basically in garrison now through the winter. Um, are we mud here? We're mud. I think we're just going to leave these cavalry units here. I don't. You know, with the with the weather, I'm just going to keep them there. McDowell is just going to stay here. Hooker will just stay here. We do have some some cohesion to recover. Actually, let's before we do that, let's back up, go back to Washington, and take this supply unit and give him to McDowell, and we'll give him a little bit of rail movement there. There we go. To uh, not McDowell to Hooker here, so that uh, so that he'll have some supply. Um, Asbeth, he's just going to stay here. Um, what did we do? We brought a we got some. Oh, we we took them out of his stack. Okay. There's that guy doing. Oh, he's building the depot. This guy's just hanging out, hanging out. Lion is just going to stay here, you know, due to the weather. Okay, that's that. We go back to our um, naval units. Um, Foot's force has. Uh, those. Foot's Force has uh, recovered their cohesion. He has resupplied. So I'm going to put him back here. This seems to be a good spot for him. Whoops. T. Transports will stay there. This is our, our um, blockade force that seems to be doing its job now. So presumably we just didn't have enough force before. So now we've got that taken care of. Um, what do we got here? That's that force. This is the force we had prior to that. They're sitting in port, recovering their cohesion, which I think is what happened. I think their cohesion just got low enough that they didn't uh, qualify for, for that blockade anymore. This Northeastern Squadron is still not building up the way he needs to do. I'm going to move him back to, say, New York on the off chance that he that he recovers that he gets these additional ships better in a larger facility it's kind of my thought our transports would just leave them here um, fifth fleet oh here's the thought that I was going to do I'm going to take one of these transport units and move it to oh bugger I guess we're um, yeah, I'm going to move it to this uh, 
blockade squadron to give him a better supply situation and I'm gonna do the same thing at the Gulf at the Gulf one here I'm gonna take one of the transports and move it to the to the blockade and then we'll move that we'll use that to shuttle supplies to these uh, forces and hopefully that will keep them in on station longer than they would otherwise Seminole here here's our scout did we decide to come to Beaufort? We did. Um, I think we'll just leave him here. Um, he's starting to take some uh, some cohesion, but that's okay. Um, we'll leave this guy here. This force here. I'm gonna leave on. We're gonna put these out at sea now, so that they'll do some uh, scouting of this area and just intercepting anybody that comes by. The flatboat, I'm going to put those on a sentry status. We don't care about them. Blockade flotilla, they're starting to take some cohesion hits. The USS Vermont, a old school frigate in Boston. Looks like everything is kind of moving south here, so I'll move him south as well. To uh, kind of get everybody combined. I think that's it for the movement now. Okay, so we will hit save, and now we're gonna we're gonna look at our what are we doing here? Hmm. Take a look at these. These are all looking good. Nothing's sitting on zero over here. Nothing's hitting on zero. Okay. Um, hmm. We can increase the river or the rail pool. I think I'll hold off on that for now. And I still feel like I'm short on artillery. So what do we have? Where did we build artillery last? Wisconsin? So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We've got eight artillery coming up in on the East Coast or in the Eastern Theater pretty soon. <laughs> Maybe we'll we'll do a uh, a spin through some more. Oh, let's look at the. Uh, Special units on all. Oh, we've got another one of these available. Let's see, we've got one sitting in McClellan's army. We've got one sitting in Fremont's army. So let's get this other one built here in Cairo. And I think I'm also going to build some of these support units that I'm going to put in, in with Grant. I'm going to give him a medical company. I'm going to give him some pontoons, and I'm going to give him some engineers. And I think we should do the same with our Eastern Army over here, at least as far... Yeah, why not do the same thing? Well, we, we do have that HQ support, so we don't really need the medical company. But I'm going to give some pontoons and some engineers built in D.C. here. And that's going to pretty much do us for... for, for uh, money okay um, let's see we're at 10 let's look at habeas corpus what we can hit again okay we can hit Washington again and we can hit Baltimore again and we can hit Annapolis again okay let's look back west we can hit Southern California with this again and I think I'm gonna bang okay we can build defensive works we can build roads we can open a trail build defensive 
works. Is there anywhere we want to do that? Oh, actually, there is. We're build. We're moving him up here. Falmouth. Let's use this build defensive works and stick that right there. See what that does for us. Wonder why we haven't got those uh, sea mines back. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think that's good enough. We've got 10 minutes left, so that's plenty of time to run the turn. So we'll run the turn and look through the messages and see where we're at. Let's get out of this. Who do we care about keeping an eye on? I'd, I would like to see where, uh, where Johnston pops back up. I don't know where he went. I, su I suspect he's coming back up to the uh, to the uh, valley, but since Beauregard came up here, I would not be surprised if he was if he was headed down this way. So, I guess we're just going to have to kind of keep our eyes open. Okay, I'm going to hit process the turn. See where we're at here. Plenty of manpower. As far as uh, up here it goes, as far as conscript companies, I think we are going to need to start building up our forces some more. We gonna we want this uh, army of the Potomac to be truly massive. I think it's where I can have uh, you know three three or four stacks that are going to have a thousand points each to. do what we need to do. Okay. Army of the Shenandoah has arrived. Oh, yep. He's gonna, oh boy, what happened? Uh, Banks. Banks took Harper's Ferry. Okay. He inflicted 10. We took quite a bit of uh, cohesion damage, but probably spread amongst these units. It wasn't, wasn't huge. <sighs> Carlton finally attacked these guys after we basically sacked him. Oh, I think what happened was uh, the units that we, we had assigned to do that, I think Carlton has just happened to have been in the region, so he uh, he finally was able to... Uh, he was finally able to uh, take those guys out. Did we get any prisoners? 700 prisoners? So finally, finally we've taken those guys out. Army of the Potomac is in... Fredericksburg Rangers arrived. Oh, they're sending some troops via ocean. Well, not anymore, they're not. Yeah. Arizona Rangers. What were you doing with Arizona Rangers moving them to Kentucky anyway? CSA Detachment has arrived in Ferguson. I think this is Ferguson. Uh, Transport Squadron. Army of the Shenandoah arrived in Hanover. What are you doing here? Oh, is he trying to get around behind us? Oh, they're still advancing in here. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I think Mr. Butler's going to have to go away now. Oh, my God. They inflicted 166 hits on us. They almost wiped us out. Almost wiped us out. Oh, golly. Oh boy. Route 8. They picked up 9 war supply and captured 3,800 prisoners. Wow. That's where Johnston was. I think we found him. Oh gosh, he finished him off. Oh my goodness. Took out the supply unit. Um, this division is all but destroyed. Oh, gosh. I think Butler's force was destroyed. Oh, my. Oh, 
golly, what did we do? We lost two, two morale from battles and two from options and events and increased one due to will to fight and national resilience. Oh gosh, is he gone? I think he's gone. Oh my goodness, he's just gone. Okay, well I guess we won't <laughs> have to worry about what to do with that force. New Kentucky volunteers joined the Union at Camp Dick Robinson. Is that the Camp Dick Robinson force or wherever Camp Dick Robinson used to be? Okay, the Trent Affair now. One more volunteer brigade in Louisville plus five conscript companies plus five Union loyalty in Kentucky. I wonder if that's overall. Maybe it is because it looks like it's gone up pretty good. Uh... The Trent Affair, the Union apologizes. So, plus five to four in entry and minus two national morale. Ironworks has been started in New Hampshire and Pennsylvania. That's that second batch that we did. The Confederacy is, is doing some ironworks. And winter, we lost two rail capacity due to that. We made a breach in Harper's Ferry. Um... Did we take it? Yeah, we. Oh, yeah, we did take it. Um, it looks like uh, Burnside failed to activate and reverted to a defensive, but we did take uh, Harper's Ferry. So we inflicted five hits during the siege um, phase, but then we did an assault and 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 capture and and took it over. No national morale gained. Butler lost two national morale, getting his butt kicked. Shields was uh, injured. And Butler was injured, so they are both out of action for some time, however long as that's going to take. He's in Hampton Roads, James City, and I'm sure we're not going to keep that very long. Okay. Let's see if there's anything here that is... Of, yeah, Burnside went to a defensive stance, so I'm glad I, I put uh, Banks on, a, on an offensive stance there. Oh, wow. Atlantic Fleet suffered nine hits from exhaustion or wear and tear, and that's because we were moving through here while there was that uh, freezing rain going on. Um, Atlantic Fleet suffered 11 in Choptec Estuary. Oh, so basically moving naval forces through sea zones when the weather is nasty is less than optimal. And here, wow. Eight hits when it got through... Oh my goodness, I don't like that at all. Ten for the Chesapeake. Ouch, gosh. And then we're bringing that, that uh, New England squadron up, so they're probably taking some hits too. Can be arrived here. Yeah, you're finally gone. Good. Atlantic Fleet stuff. Oh my gosh, what's the Atlantic Fleet looking like? Uh, not horrible, not horrible at all. But he's he has taken quite a bit of, of pings here that we didn't we didn't care for. But not he's not hor not as bad as it looked there. Stone's command has arrived in here. We still don't have a good a good uh, detection on him. We do see that we have a, a division. The eighth division is sitting here in Winchester. Um, more, more naval squadrons taking hits. Uh, the Vermont has arrived here. Wisconsin has been trained. This is again, um, um, Halleck, his, his force is doing, doing the thing. Um, since we didn't, oh, who? Who has been trained here? Has that been from... Whatever, we're getting some guys trained. We don't need to point them out every single time. Oh, Stone's Brigade received those mounted volunteers. So that's that cavalry unit we moved back here. He's now got his other... His other... Uh, his other regiment. We finished building an armory in New York, in Philadelphia. We got some... Oh, our... Uh, Ironclads are, are done here. 
our battery in Baltimore. Finished building a depot in Jefferson, Kentucky. We've got some artillery finished in Janesville, Wisconsin, and in Council Bluffs. The monitor has been, the USS monitor has been completed. Some more artillery, lots of artillery here in Trenton. Uh, lots of artillery here in Baltimore, so we'll see. We see we get these guys moved down, and we'll see how artillery poor I feel after that. We've got our our Jefferson City Depot, not Jefferson City, our our Louisville Depot. We took Harper's Ferry and we captured 151 supply and 12 crates of ammunition. We've got the Harper's Ferry Armory there. We repaired this rail line in. Falquir, Falquir, I don't remember. I went and looked out on a YouTube video to see how that was pronounced, and I promptly forgot what it was. And they did capture Fort Smith, so they're still they're still a bit on the move here, which is okay. I'm not concerned. These are these are not consequential places, so I am going to. I I would rather not lose Lawrence, but then we're you know once once the weather changes, we're gonna we're gonna go. Um, take care of this. These Indians are coming up. Hanover, Virginia has been reduced to zero. Yeah, Ferguson, Kansas has been reduced to zero. Okay. Oh, we're out of time here. Habeas Corpus in Baltimore was unsuccessful. Telegraph. Northern California, our, uh, our habeas worked. So now look at that. Our unionists are up to 70. That's good. Telegraph line, we're actively developing the territory. Oh, these are things that we put in quite a while ago that's starting to pull starting to pull some of these uh, the, uh, the civilization level development level up of some of these. Oto, Nebraska. Yay, it's the first one we put. I'll look out the window and see if it, if it looks any better from from there. Transport, a fleet suffered damage from bad weather. This guy here, second fleet. Merchant fleet brought in only 14 more supply. We've been bringing in more than that. Benjamin Butler has suf blamed for suffering a defeat. Shields blamed for suffering a defeat. Well, yeah, they lost their entire force and were injured, so that would possibly. But since Butler was our next, um, our next, guy who was uh, up for a army. I wonder if he's now still would give us problems for trying to pick somebody else. Yeah, Banks is our next guy now. Uh, I'm not adverse to making Banks an army here in the Shenandoah, but I am going to save that for the next turn. Um, so I'm going to, I'm going to, save the game here call it to a halt and the next turn we're going to go through the orders for the late december 1861 turn see you next time